so today is foundation friday happy foundation friday if you're new here this is where i do a first impression video every single friday on my channel this kind of stemmed from 15 days of foundation so if you miss that i'm gonna leave the playlist down below i did 15 days in a row of first impression videos and we're doing it again november 5th to the 20th for today's first impression we're doing the wet n wild coverall cream foundation and powder. This is one of the most requested foundations lately. I don't know why since this has been out since literally I think 2014 or 2013. This has been out for forever. It's just one of those products that I've never really thought to try. I don't know why. It retails for $3.99. A lot of times you can get Wet n Wild 40% off. The drugstores always switch out their sales. So let's read some of the claims on Wet n Wild's website. It says it has all day wear, medium to full coverage, Lightweight satin matte finish. Visibrite skin perfecting complex reduces the appearance of wrinkles and dark spots. Brighten your skin while hydrating to give a natural rejuvenating lift. And I do have combination skin with cystic acne. I usually get oily on my T-zone throughout the day. And I like more full coverage since I do have acne and stuff to cover up. So it comes in six shades. I have the shade Fair, the lightest shade. All right, so right here we have Wet n Wild Coverall in Fair. Next to it is L'Oreal True Match in C1. This is Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110, and this is MAC NW10. I also have the shade Fair in the powder. Let's take a look at the powder too. So the powder actually comes in eight shades. I don't think I've ever seen eight shades of this at the drugstore. I feel like there's usually three on display, like three or four, but on their website they have eight shades and this retails for $2.99. This literally has the same exact claims as the foundation on their website. I don't know if that's an error or what, but it literally says the exact same thing. And it does say that this foundation is supposed to apply best with their powder, obviously, because they want you to purchase both. But anyways, we did try it out with both today. If you guys like this video at any point and you're excited about Foundation Friday, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Please let me know down below what foundations you guys want to see in the upcoming Foundation Fridays. I purchase all the foundations based on suggestions that you guys comment and snap me and tweet me. So let me know. If you want to see my thoughts on this foundation and how it applies and wears throughout the day, you're in the right place. Just keep watching. All right, so I have a little bit different of a lighting situation right now. I got softbox lights and one of them actually came broken, so I only have one right now, and then I have my ring light over here. So let me know what you guys think of the lighting like this. I honestly have no idea how I'm gonna fit freaking two softbox lights in this room. Didn't really think that through. These things are huge. Who needs to live in their room anyways? Anyways, let's do makeup. Oh shit, where'd the sponge go? Sponges across the room. Literally just had a catastrophe setting up this lighting situation. So I have the shade 815 Fair right here, which is the lightest shade. And I'm gonna do half my face with the brush and half my face with the Real Technique sponge, like usual. This actually looks kinda light. I don't know how much coverage we're gonna get with this, so I'm just gonna start out with about a dime size amount. Have some breakouts going on right here, but for the most part, the rest of my face is pretty clear. I'm gonna try the brush on this side and see how well it covers with all this acne and stuff. Today I'm using the Morphe. This one doesn't have a number on it. It's from like forever ago, years ago. Okay, I'm actually not liking this brush right now. It's giving me some weird texture. I'm gonna try this e.l.f. brush right here. This one is a bit smaller, but I love this brush for blending out foundation. It's definitely light enough. I already used up that full amount, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit more. With one layer right now, I would say we're getting about a medium coverage. It's definitely not totally covering the acne and stuff on one layer. I'm feeling good today. I'm in a good mood. It's actually Labor Day right now when I'm filming this. So that's one layer with the brush on this side. I'm gonna go in with a sponge and I'm starting with the dime size amount again so I can see how far it goes with the sponge. I'm liking the shade of this. So I haven't put out any more foundation and I'm still going. I think it goes a little bit farther with a sponge. Still have product. Let's do a little comparison, brush versus sponge. Ooh, I actually think I like how it applied with the sponge better. I'm making sure it's not just this lighting. It looks a little bit more natural coverage with the sponge but the finish of it just looks a lot smoother. I'm gonna go in with a thin second layer just on the parts that we need it using the sponge. And I did prime my face, I forgot to mention, using the Jouer Anti-Blemish Primer. My skin has been really liking that stuff, so I'm kind of scared to use a different primer right now. I feel like it's actually kind of helping my acne a little bit. Okay, now that I have two layers on, I don't think it's totally full coverage. I think we got about 
solid medium, high medium. You can still see some scarring and like freckles and stuff coming through. Close up just so you guys can see. Ooh, this is gonna be harder to like turn down the lights now when I do this. These softbox lights. So for the rest of my face, I'm actually gonna be filming a full face drugstore look. But I'm gonna do the concealer and like rest of my base products in this video because I want to try out the Wet n Wild Coverall Press Powder in the shade Fair. I have used this one time before. I feel like I didn't really examine it. So we're gonna try this again. Whoa, this light is freaking hot. And online it does say to set this foundation with their powder. So first I'm gonna go in with the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer. You can get this at Ulta. And I did a full first impression video on this during 15 Days of Foundation with the Catrice uh, All Matte, I think it's called foundation and I haven't really tried out this concealer since then a whole lot so we're gonna try it again today. It is light enough which is awesome. This is drying pretty quickly and the finish of the foundation without a powder it's actually setting. This does feel like one that I could get away without a powder but I'm still gonna set it just to see how it works with the powder. I'm going to attempt to set my under eyes with the elf HD perfect finish powder. Never used this before. It's supposed to be really nice and for good things. Basically just like a pressed translucent powder. It smells kind of minty. I usually don't like using translucent powders to set my under eye concealer because I feel like it takes away some of the coverage. Looks okay. Definitely not the most like full coverage under eye concealer but nothing horrible. So now let's go in with the Wet n Wild Coverall powder in the shade Fair. And I always like to pounce my powder on my face rather than like blending it because if you do that you're just going to blend away some of the coverage of the foundation. We're looking pretty matte. The foundation alone definitely has more of like a satin finish which is actually really nice. You can see on my forehead and this powder mattifies it a bit. My face is looking very textured right now. Definitely looks like I'm wearing makeup. It's looking super textured on my forehead chin a little bit. I don't know how I'm going to do this with these lights because I can't dim the softbox. Okay, I'm going to have to work on how I'm going to do close-ups from now on with the softbox, but I'm going to do the next check-in in natural lighting. So it is now 11 a.m. pretty much. I'm going to go film the other video and then I will be right back. All right, so it is now 11.40. The rest of my makeup is on. Just wrapped up the first impressions video on the rest of my face products. I'm gonna call the check-in time 11 o'clock since that's when I wrapped up the face products, but I did end up setting my face, which you guys will see in that video, with the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. This doesn't alter the finish of my face at all, I don't think. It doesn't really make it dewy. As you can see, I still look pretty matte on like my forehead and stuff. As far as how the rest of the products went on on top, everything blended out really easily, no complaints. It just looks like I'm wearing foundation for sure. And I wish it had a tiny bit more coverage to cover up my acne, but overall I really like the shade of it. Both of these were light enough. I forgot to even talk about the powder shade. I like how the shade looks on my skin. I did want to mention the formula a little bit more because I feel like I didn't really touch on that when I was actually applying it. It has kind of a gel-like formula. The way that this goes on reminds me a little bit of the Rimmel 25 hour foundation. It feels kind of gel-like, so I do think that if you have dry skin, this one might be okay for you, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. So far. All right, so it's now 4.15, so the foundation's been on for a little over five hours. I have a Postmate coming right now to deliver Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm so addicted to Postmates and I am funny. So as far as how the foundation looks, it looks good. Like, I feel like it's gotten better looking throughout the day so far. I do have creasing around my nose a little bit and on my upper lip. If you've seen any of my other videos, that's pretty much what happens with most foundations, especially if I'm putting a powder on top, which is why if I can find a foundation that I don't have to powder it, it's great because I don't usually get as much creasing. My forehead is starting to look a little bit dewy. I like it. It just looks like skin doesn't look oily at this point. Everywhere else looks really nice. I think it looks really good in natural lighting. Got the leopard robe on because I've just been editing for the last five hours, literally. So here's what everything's looking like close up. As you can see, I do have like a little bit of dew coming through on my forehead. And then there's the creasing I was talking about. But other than that, I think it looks nice. All right, so it's now 7.15 PM. So the foundation's been on for about eight hours. For being on for eight hours, it looks pretty dang good. It's definitely gotten a little bit dewier as time has gone on, but I personally like that. It doesn't look super oily. I feel like my forehead and stuff 
Definitely has a dew to it, but it's more of a skin-like dew, not an oily dew. You know what I'm saying? My only complaint is that it does look pretty heavy around my nose area and it's creasing under here. And then also my lip area, which you saw earlier. Blush, bronzer, highlight are still fully on. This lip liner though, not a fan of the J-Cat liner I used today. It's definitely like feathered a bunch and it's not fully waterproof. I think the foundation has slightly oxidized a little bit. I just took a look in natural lighting. There's still some light and it looks like it's darkened a tiny bit. I like this one. I don't love it and I don't hate it. If it had a tiny bit more coverage, I would be all about it. I'm trying to think of a skin type that this wouldn't work for and honestly I think that this could work with dry skin just don't set it with that powder. It feels pretty moisturizing and gel like when it first goes on. Like I said I get oily throughout the day typically and I'm not a huge grease ball so I think if you like medium coverage it's probably worth trying this out since it's only a few bucks. Both times I've used the powder last time and today I haven't been super wowed by the powder. But that could just be because I don't typically like super, super mattifying powders. I like a powder that's gonna look very skin-like when you put it on, but it also might just be the foundations that I've tried to put this on top of. So I'm gonna try using this powder with other foundations and we'll see what I think. If you wanna watch more Foundation Friday videos, I'm gonna leave the playlist down below. I'm about to go watch Bachelor in Paradise. <laughs> Guilty pleasure. Love you guys, thanks for watching. See you in my next video, bye. Oh, 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 oh,